Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the George Foreman Family Size Grill. It measures 19 inches by 12 and a half inches. It is large and will take up counter space. It has a stay cool handle and fixed non-stick grill plates. It gives you 144 square inches of cooking space. A drip tray and instruction manual are included with the unit. The drip tray is dishwasher safe, just on the top rack, or you can wash it by hand. Let's plug in the machine. The light will turn on. Preheat for five minutes. Now the grill light has turned off, which means the grill is ready to use. That took about five minutes to preheat. I have quarter pound lamb burgers. I use a total of one pound of meat. Got one more. Put it on here. Maybe I'll move it over here. Okay, move it over there. I also have some sliced onions. I tried to make it the same thickness as the burgers. There are stops here so the food doesn't slide off. Cover this. We'll check on it in about five minutes. There's a lot of steam coming out from the back, so you might not want to put this under a cabinet. You can see some fat is already dripping out. The advantage of the slope design is that uh, all the fat can just roll off and drip onto the drip tray. It's been just about five minutes. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, you can see the burgers are almost done. Just touch it. Oh, they are almost done. The onions are getting soft. The burgers are just about done. I'm just gonna give it about two more minutes. The time depends on if you want your burgers rare or medium or well done. Well done should take about eight minutes. You can see all of the fat that's in the drip tray. Lamb is pretty fatty, so this grill will remove most of the fat from your burger which is good, so you can have a nice lean burger. The manual tells you how long to cook salmon, burgers, chicken breast, and steak, and how long to cook for rare, medium, or well done. So the grill cooks everything very quickly. It's been a little over seven minutes. The burgers are definitely done. The onions, as you can see, they were not all exactly the same height. So the one in the middle, I guess, made contact with the grill, so now that's nice and charred. These other two are not charred on the top, but are cooked on the bottom. Let me take, remove this. Always use a non-stick utensil with this unit. You don't want to scratch the surface. You can see the other side is Nicely cooked also. So I could have fit about seven of these burgers on the grill. There's a lot of grease on the plates, a lot of grease in the drip tray. So the unit did a good job on the burgers and onions. I like that everything was cooked really quickly and all the fat dripped off. To clean, unplug the unit and wait till it cools down just a little bit. It's easier to wipe down the grill when it's slightly warm. If you wait it to completely cool down, it will take you a little bit longer to wipe down the grill because food will be stuck on a little bit harder. I will have to taste this, of course. The onions are nicely grilled. They're not completely soft. Still has a little bit of crunch to it. The meat is not dried out. It's still juicy, even though most of the fat dripped out. It's a pretty good burger. I like my burgers really well done, so I cooked the lamb burgers for seven minutes, but they were actually done in five. Done enough for most people, I would say. So the cooking time is extremely fast. If you're cooking for your family, you can cook all the meat first, and that only takes about five minutes, and the vegetables will take about five minutes also. So dinner can be ready in about 10 minutes. It's really great for a weeknight when you don't want to spend too much time cooking, and you can still eat something healthy and delicious. Just like the smaller George Foreman grill I've reviewed in the past, this can be used as a panini press, you can make grilled cheese, and lots of other things on the grill. Overall, for the price, the size, and how fast it 
cooks a meal, it's a pretty good value. The link to this George Foreman grill is in the description below. I hope you liked this review. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.